Hi guys, MyCrew here. This is my video testing the Divinomatic. It's some semi-AFK money making, but with the really weird prices of Divine charges at the moment, it's not the best money, but it can be over 2 mil GP an hour while getting some divination gains, which isn't too bad. Starting this video off with my setup, as you can see, it's pretty generic. Obviously, you have the Divinomatic on. I'm using the Ring of Whispers to get the plus 3 gathering boost, which is a reward from Sliske's endgame. Alongside the necklace from Sliske's endgame that helps your summoning points not get drained. Other than that, I just have the divination outfit. If you don't have this outfit, diviner's outfit works just as well. In my inventory, I have the urns and an urn enhancer just for some extra experience. And then if you're taking a familiar, taking a couple of extra scrolls or whatever you need is always beneficial. That's it for the setup, so let's get into it. To get an accurate price, I bought a Divine Charge from the GE and it instantly bought a 53k, so it's so cheap right now, it's unreal. They're probably going to go back up in price. They have to, really. It just seems way too cheap. The Divine Charge empty bought for 10,900 GP. This means every single Divine Charge that I make makes me 42.1k. When you're using a Divinomatic, you can right click and configure it and make it take the memories and the energy so it's near enough AFK. It's only semi AFK though because sometimes the wisps despawn within like 10 seconds. Some wisps do last a minute though so it's a semi AFK way of doing this. You just go from wisp to wisp to wisp. So the rates I got with normal divination at the incandescent colony with no familiar was just over 50 charges in an hour. This netted me 46,000 divination experience and it would equate to being 2.1 million GP profit an hour. This isn't too bad, but it's not great by any means. I then went to test it with both familiars, the Nightmare Muspa and the Light Creature. With the Nightmare Muspa, I got around 56 charges an hour, so the passive bonuses from the Nightmare Muspa actually helped out here. It also boosted my experience an hour to 56,000 and my profit to 2.36 mil. So it's closing in on 2.5 mil GP an hour, which isn't that bad. If the charges do go back up in price a bit, this method will get a little bit better and it may be able to push over 3 mil GP an hour. And then I done it with the Light Creature. The Light Creature and the Enlightenment special ability allows it to automatically dunk some of the memories for enriched XP. This then makes it so you don't get as many charges an hour, but you get more XP. So it actually worked out pretty cool. It was about half the charges an hour and it was 28 charges an hour. But it was just over double the experience and it was 103,000 experience an hour. This was also 1.18 million GP an hour. This isn't that bad to be honest. Getting over 100k experience an hour and over a million GP an hour is actually pretty decent. This is like the middleman. The light creature gives some GP and some XP. It's not as good GP as the best method. It's not as good XP as the best method, but it's kind of in between. So if you wanted a bit of both, the light creature is pretty damn good. And the nightmare Musper is what you want to do if you're just going for GP. After I'd tried the incandescent spawns, I thought I'd go to the arc and test my luck there and just see how good the arc is. Because you don't get any memories at all in the arc and the energy you get is very slow, the divine charges come at a very, very slow rate. So the rates for the AFK Arc Divination I got was two and a half charges an hour, which is actually kind of pathetic. You're better off just leaving it getting your chimes. It's not really worth sacrificing that many chimes for 105k GP an hour. Although it is 160k experience an hour, so the Arc with the urns and everything is definitely the best way to get experience. I would not advise doing charges on the Arc. Stick to getting chimes and using those chimes for XP lamps and you would be better off. Anyway, that's it for this video. It was only a quick one, testing all the different rates and the GPs. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Do give it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new for loads of future content. And until next time, see ya.